Hey YouTube, it's Tanya and I am here with a <clears throat> brachioplasty update. Today is day 14. It's Thursday, November 16th, I believe. And uh, I tomorrow will be two weeks since my brachioplasty. I saw my surgeon today for my two week follow up. And just to, for her to look at my incisions and I had to ask her some questions. So I'm gonna go through those things. I had posted on Instagram that I was going to do, and on Facebook, that I was going to do this update and I asked if anybody had questions and I did get a few questions, so I'm going to run through those too. Some of the things I'm going to talk about will actually answer some of the questions, but um, we'll go ahead and get started. So I got there, showed her my incisions. Let me, let me go ahead and show you the incisions. So I'm trying to get where the light can show. Like this is super flat. It's crazy. I feel like in the last few days, it's really calmed down, still haven't shaved, um, but um, uh, yeah, it is, this is probably the most irritating part just because the bra keeps rubbing it, but it's really not painful at all. Um, really happy with it. And it's, you can kind of see, I got the betadine on it. So a betadine, however you say it. Let me see if I can get closer. That's like the little kind of thick part that's still swollen. This part I find is still swollen on both arms. And again, all the way down. Yeah. But yeah, super pleased. Um, again, from the back, what it looks like. And from the front, make a bicep. That's where you can see, you can kind of see the line down there. Again, no, no wobble. <laughs> okay, so she looked at the incisions. She said everything looks good. There's no like openings. There's no bad spots. And um, you know, I said in the last video that my left arm was the one that was bothering me, like to hold it out and twist it, and I can still feel it. But after that video, my friend Jerry Ann, um, she's also a WLSer, she had texted me to tell me that she watched the video, looked great, but she said it sounded like she's a nurse, and she said it sounded like um, a nerve um, had been irritated. And she asked me if I was taking um, Advil, and I said, no, I've been taking Tylenol extra strength because that's what the doctor had said to take. And she said, no, that's just for pain. You need something for inflammation. It sounds like the swelling or something is irritating that nerve. And sure enough, I took two a leave that morning. This was yesterday morning, so Wednesday morning. And that took probably 75% of the um, pain away. So like when I hold my arm out, and twist like right now it hurts but I haven't taken anything since like six o'clock this morning um but when I'm when I've taken the anti-inflammatory I it, I and even this is way better than it was even like three days ago but I can feel like a tightness in here and it goes all the way to my wrist and same thing like holding it straight up it hurts like right in in here but yeah so apparently that's a nerve pain because here it's tight at the incision line but nowhere else so and I told my doctor all about that. She said, yep, that's exactly right. Take anti-inflammatory, fine. She felt my arm, made sure that I had feeling and everything, that there was no actual nerve damage. But yeah, I don't have any numbness or anything in my arm. It's just that, that little pain. So I, I think that's probably gonna go away as the swelling goes away. Um, I did ask her about exercising and she said I can start riding my bike now. She said, uh, I asked her about going to my step class and she said, sure. She said, start slow. I could start now. Uh, I'm going to wait until Tuesday. I actually stopped at my step class and I just to tell my people hello, but I didn't bring any of my workout clothes with me, so I couldn't do anything tonight. But, and then I have plans for this weekend. So I won't start again until Tuesday, but I'll start with just the one step, no level underneath it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to do any arm movement when I'm doing my step aerobics. I'm just gonna try and use my lower body. Um, I won't start my arm, like my um, my weight training, my, I do a, a body, not a body sculpt, it's um total sculpt class, but it's like lots of weight lifting. Um, I was gonna start that like just in a few weeks maybe, but I got a response on my Facebook post from uh, Shandy Marriott, and she had her brachioplasty, I don't know, I don't know, a year or two ago maybe, and she said she started lifting about eight weeks after surgery, and that her st her scars kind of stretched, and it made the scar bigger than what it would have been if she would have waited. So now I'm like, hmm, maybe I might wait three months before I start lifting, which sounds like forever. Especially since I want to get that definition back in my arms, but um, I also don't want to have major scars. So, um, 
But my doctor said I go back in two weeks for another checkup. And at that time, we'll talk about scar therapy. So I'll come back with an update definitely in two weeks when I talk to her about that. I asked about shaving and about using deodorant and she said yes to both. I can start doing both. Shaving, I'm a little bit nervous because of the incision here. It's like kind of raised. So I'm going to be really careful. I actually might try to wax. I do wax, like I wax things myself. So um, I, I might try and just wax it because it's like, I mean, it's like the size of a half dollar or maybe a quarter. It's on both sides. It's really not hardly anything. And I think most people don't even have to shave after surgery but like i mentioned in an earlier video she kind of came a little more forward with my incisions because i had deep uh stretch marks and she was trying to get rid of the majority of my bad stretch marks so i was happy to leave a little bit of hair to be able to eliminate stretch marks other people that don't have stretch marks may you know choose to not do that but that was how it was for me so yeah so i can shave i can use deodorant I can go back to exercise and anything. I, she said, just, you know, follow how I feel. Start out slow. She said, your arms are going to swell. Like, just like when I worked out and after the tummy tuck, your tummy tuck, my, my stomach swells. My stomach still swells sometimes now. So um, she said, but don't be afraid of swelling. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to be, I guess, more annoying than anything. So everything went well at the doctor's appointment. So here's the questions from Instagram and Facebook. Um, on Instagram, Long R N ask. Uh, she said, "I need to know about the pain and if you felt immobilized." And also, Wanda Lou on Facebook ask, "Is it pain as painful as they say?" I will say this: <laughs> it was more painful than I expected. It was to me. I think I had an easy time, a fairly easy time with my tummy tuck, easier than most people, and I did not have muscle repair with my tummy tuck. I found this to be more painful and more uncomfortable than my tummy tuck. Um, and maybe I'm just not remembering as well because, you know, as time goes by, you kind of forget how what it felt like. But this was more painful than I expected it to be. Um, the incision being so long, it's the whole thing burns. It feels like somebody's poking you in the underarm. The swelling feels like somebody has a rubber band around your arm in certain spots. I, you do you are immobilized for the first few days I will say that I mean I can remember on I think it was Saturday or Sunday I had it on Friday no it was on Monday um, my friend Andrea came over I had to get her to scratch my shoulder because I could not reach one hand to the back of my shoulder I could only get to about right here you can't brush your hair I couldn't put my hair in a ponytail luckily my 10 year old helped me with that um, I wore baseball caps. I couldn't wash my hair. I didn't wash my hair for like five days maybe. But like at that about that five or six day mark, I was able to get my hands higher and I could touch the top of my head. Once I could touch the top of my head, I could wash my hair and I could somewhat brush it. I couldn't necessarily reach all the way back and put a ponytail in. But every day I felt like my mobility got a little bit better. But the first few days I had felt like I had like this was about as far as you could go and she didn't want me putting my arms over my head so um the first few days you are basically immobilized i could not put on a shirt over my head and all of my shirts are over the head shirts so that's why i'm like one of the, i think that first video after john had cut the sleeves off of a shirt and because it was easy to put my arms through things with big holes and my head through something with a big head and neck hole um it's really difficult to put on shirts over my head. I think I was able to do that on the Wednesday after surgery. So that would have been day six because I know I went back to work on day seven and I got myself dressed that morning and I could put a shirt on over my head. So I know on day seven I could put a shirt over my head. It was not pleasant. It's still not pleasant now to put a shirt over my head. I can feel it. It's tight. It's achy. It burns. But it's not horrible and I can do it. So... I got, like I said, I'm getting my mobility back a little bit. I, if the left arm felt exactly like the right arm, I mean, it's tight, but it's not painful. So, okay. So that answers the pain question. Um, Melissa Reed asked, how long do you have to wear compression and when can you get back to exercising? So I talked about exercising. Compression. My doctor does not require me to wear any compression. She doesn't use compression at all. However... I did buy something because I thought I might feel more secure 
um, with some kind of compression on and then it might help with the swelling under here and uh, so let me show you what I got and I, I have worn it twice I wore it once to sleep and I wore it once just during the day but I got this thing oh you can't always see but this it's like a thing and it's got the short sleeves and it's it clips underneath your boobs so let's see if I can put it on so you can see like now I can you know swing my arms around and but like you put it on and it goes it goes under your bra so like you can wear your bra and you can wear the sleeves the only problem is if I were to get this again I would try and get something with three quarter length sleeves because the sleeves tend to ride up and then it cuts me right here so and I don't want a line in my arms and I'm afraid with it healing it's gonna heal with a dent in my arm so I'm really only wearing this what, what it feels good about this is that I don't have any skin touching skin when I have this on so it feels really good under my arms uh, so I might wear it again tonight to sleep just because of that like today my underarm like wearing the shirt all day my underarms touching skin touching skin was a bit irritating but I also wonder if the, the hair that I need to shave might be contributing to that too so that's the compression question um, Rhea asked how do you stop yourself how do you know when you're done uh, just fixing one thing make other things look bad and lead lead to like more plastic surgery and I think that's an excellent question like super good question um, and I think it's a fine line I, and I question myself about that I think that having one surgery makes it easier to consider another surgery because you know you got through it and you know what the pain like how to what, what kind of pain to expect and so um, it takes away that fear factor of the unknown and I do think you can get sucked into uh, this looks so much better now now this other area could be seriously improved and um, you know you don't want to have a transfer addiction to plastics which I think can happen to some people but it's a fine line between if you're obsessing and looking at the next thing to improve or if you truly need an overhaul after a massive weight loss I think some people do need an overhaul some people's skin is just worse than others and I don't think my skin was horrible I, I think my skin probably was average an average bounce back compared to most people who lose um, like 100 pounds or more but I've seen a lot of people with a lot worse skin and I would say that's not a, an obsession and it's not uh, not knowing when to stop that's like what they really need and um for me um when I always knew I wanted my stomach done even before I had VSG I hated my apron stomach so that wasn't a thing I didn't think I would get my arms done until I did so much work I spent over a year lifting weights and losing weight and concentrating on building muscle and if anything the loose skin got worse like when I would flex it was fine but ever, seeing myself three four days a week in class with the shaking going on every time I was doing step aerobics seriously bothered me and it wasn't I don't feel like it was because I didn't know when to stop it was because it was truly bothering me and I feel like if something's truly bothering you and you have the means to do it and you're not taken away from your household to do it and it's you know you have the support of your family uh, then then by all means you should do it but like I said I could I can see where it can be addictive because you feel so good afterwards I'm sure there's some kind of dopamine rush that like when I look at myself I'm so happy with the results I'm still every day I get up and I look at my stomach and I'm so happy with those results and I'm sure I'm gonna be the same way with my arms so I don't know you got to do some internal questioning of yourself is some is this something that you really need as a repair to finish the whole process or is it just one thing leads to the next <sighs> No, it, that's a that's a hard question to answer and I think that's something each person has to answer for themselves um, the let's see oh the last thing was shave and we're doing them so okay that's all the questions that I had from Instagram and Facebook if y'all have any other questions let me know I'm gonna do another video about nutrition and how what my weight did during this healing process and how I felt about it 
clearly, if I'm doing a video on it, there's something <laughs> that went on there. So, uh, but it's going to make this video too long. So I'll do another one maybe next week about that. If you have any questions about that or other things, let me know and I will address that in my next video. Bye guys. Go out and make it happen.